Good afternoon. I'm cooking my lunch here. Thanks for watching. I had a little tip to share while cooking my lunch today. This is um, using a stainless steel skillet. I put some avocado oil in here and uh, let's see, I'm cooking, it's like a veggie patty, kale, and three eggs because that's what I had left in the fridge. Let's see if I can actually do, give you the tip I wanted to. Okay, so you see, there isn't much actually sticking to the skillet. So, my first tip is, um, because stainless steel skillets can, can have food stick to them and then be difficult to clean, I do not use non-stick coated skillets. Some members of my family do. That's why it's here. I don't. So the tip is this is an electric skillet or excuse me an electric cooktop and you can see that I have the temperature set to about three. Don't cook over three whenever you're using the skillet. There's if you're cooking with your temperature higher than that and you're having trouble with food burning or sticking to the skillet, it's because your temperature is too high. And that goes for cast iron skillets. We, it's actually, cast iron is our favorite skillet. A seasoned cast iron skillet is the best non-stick skillet there is. And let's see. The next would be, I'm finished cooking, so now I've turned off the heat, and I'm really unprepared for this, grabbing a lid that's too big, but I'm going to just leave it sit here uh, for a few minutes with the lid on. What that does is capture the steam and keep it inside so that... Um, the water helps loosen and remove the um, sticky residue from the bottom of the skillet. So I'm going to pause here for a moment and see if I can manage holding on to the phone while also stirring this to show you that the bottom of the skillet is clean. Okay, let's see. It's pretty good. And that's just coming right up. There you go. So, the skillet cleans very easily. And um, if what you're cooking doesn't need to be crisp, you can just add a tiny bit of water to the skillet to help lift your food off. If not, the next thing to do would be go ahead and remove your food from the skillet and then immediately with a hot skillet put some cold water in it, well, the, whatever temperature comes out of your faucet, and then put it back on the burner while the burner is still hot and it'll just come right off. So there's my trick for having cooking non-stick cooking on a stainless steel skillet. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.